YouTube was good. It's your boy LeBron, female rapper Lee. I'm back with another video. Yo, please come in and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every every time I go live or I do an upload. Yo, I hope all of y'all having a happy holiday season. I know we just came off of that Thanksgiving. I hope y'all working out, getting back to your workout schedules. I know a lot of y'all downed a lot of carbs, a lot of high fructose corn syrup and all of that over this weekend. Drink that water and wash them sins away. I'm not playing with y'all. Listen, we focusing on health and wellness. Like you already know what I'm about on this channel. So, you know, uh, I hope all of y'all are just treating your body's well and you know step away from the sugar get your sugars from your fruits and your you know fruits and natural sources i know that a lot of y'all did a lot over this past holiday so yeah i need you to drink that water and wash them sins away but listen please make sure that you thumbs up the video share the video also the cash app is on the screen cookie confidant 83 dollar sign on that cash app shout out to Everybody who support my channel and all of that, I just really wanted to come real quick and talk about Nicki Minaj, her cryptic message. Is it for Big Lotto? I want to know how you feel about it, so make sure that you comment and let me know You know how you feel. So anyway, y'all know last week, Lotto, she had an interview that came out with XXL Magazine, and Lotto was in an interview saying how she regretted certain things that happened. Ray, 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 fucking Ray. So let me just go over this really briefly. Lotto talks with XXL Magazine about her beefs in hip hop and if that's just a part of being a rapper. I think it really don't be a problem um, until we let the stands, whatever you want to call them, like the outsiders, once they get in the mix, I think that's what stirs the pot. Because it's like we will be fans of each other, commenting and following each other, whatever. But then once we get, once they get to comparing, they will turn us against each other, which is very weak minded of us as female rappers. I will take accountability. I don't think truly at heart it's us it is you because you're fucking hateful because your career ain't going nowhere like that anyway once people are infiltrating your mind and they got you thinking this and now you're feeling this type of way without even addressing the person now you're addressing the fans i think we'd be falling for these traps and they that, that they put on female rappers lotto was full of shit you know what i'm saying she's full of shit because what is what really happened was is that the results weren't really that responsive from her collaboration with cardi it came and it fucking left none of those songs was nominated listen you know they might try to throw it on the bet awards for 2024 just to put her in the mix but lotto ain't make no noise this year she dropped the song that she dropped that lottery song at right after the Grammys when she was running on the airplane did a video about that it's on the channel you find it you know what I'm saying she did a video about that she did a video for lottery that didn't go nowhere at all and then she moved on I think she dropped another song she did some features but then she came with the song with Cardi which that song which put it on the floor wasn't even doing good as a solo song by itself and then you added Cardi thinking that she was going to skyrocket you to number one and the results just weren't responsive so so in this interview uh Lotto was saying how she regretted uh you know her beef she wasn't specific talking about Nicki Minaj at all but we know which I, I personally feel <coughs> is though she feels bad you know in regards to the way that she handled it you recorded her conversation you tried to put it out and I know I can imagine what the conversation was in that group chat between Cardi B Megan Thee Stallion and Lotto like you know what I'm saying you and that's why Nicki acted the way that she acted within that group message like yo I love the way that she checked that bitch I loved it me personally I did so yesterday Nicki posted this in her stories right now this didn't happen she didn't post it right after Lotto did this but Think about these words. Nikki said on her story, if you had the opportunity to apologize and didn't take it and always remember you had the opportunity of a lifetime, Pink Friday too. What do you think that this is about? Do you think that Laron is reaching? Do you think that this is not about Lotto? It, listen, me personally, you know how Nikki is very cryptic and she's not really, especially when she don't want to give these duds any attention or any mention or anything like that. Let's read it again. If you had the opportunity to apologize and didn't take it and always remember you had the opportunity of a lifetime. Pink Friday too. Listen, we supposed to feel some sort of way because Lotto, you know what I'm saying? She's doing she's doing these uh, interviews and saying what she regrets and, you know, she regret, you know, handling things a certain type of way. No, bitch, we want you to come with the apology. The, you, I want you to come with that full court pressure the same way that you try to give it up and try to make it seem like you was dissing Nikki and taking your, your finger and putting it under your nose. And if this Coke and this and that, no. 
Hell no. We want the apology to be just as loud as the disrespect was. So to me personally, I do feel like this is in regards to Lotto, me personally, but we all have a, an array of emotions, thoughts, and processes and things like that. If you had the opportunity to apologize and didn't take it, always remember you had the opportunity of a lifetime. Pink Friday tool. Let me tell you something. Nicki Minaj is not playing. On this album, I think that she's going to give us straight art. She's going to give us straight music. She's going to bring it, but she's not playing with these bitches. These bitches are not trying to get in, get up in the double xl really ain't even really um got the momentum to be even in that magazine but you know magazine sales and everything for certain brand for certain magazines are down and they just throw anybody in the mix lotto ain't got no fans you think they're gonna go purchase that xxl magazine they're gonna read that shit in an excerpt online just like i just read it they ain't run into them stores like how we used to do that back in the day or you know currently for like nikki in vogue where they sold that shit out listen they not doing that but i want to know what y'all think about that who do you think Nikki was talking about? Because who didn't apologize? Who who owes Nikki an apology? I personally think that Cardi B still even owes Nikki an apology. Bitch, the way that you handled her at that damn um Harper's Bazaar event, people overlook that shit, but you owe Nicki Minaj an apology. Yes, you do. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion owes Nikki an apology for the way that she treated her. And then you you basically used her and fucked this fan base with the legs up in the air. Yes, Megan Thee Stallion, o Stallion owes to, um, Nikki an apology. And, and more so, Lotto does. The way that she tried to run with it and the way that the results weren't responsive and the way that her career didn't hit the way that she thought it was. Listen, baby, you better start you, you, next year, 2024. She said things are going to get big. Excuse me. She said things are supposed to get big and she's going to be doing these videos with her vision. You better because, listen, you striking out at this point, baby. You striking out. And I remember back in the day when Brandy was dropping her albums and they weren't doing as good as her previous albums. And she said, you know, at a point, you know, you kind of have to stop because you don't want to keep striking out. Listen, it ain't nothing changed from. Listen, that was the precedence. That was the precedent then. And it's the precedent now. Ain't no label going to still keep wanting to punch, push money into a chick who ain't really bringing no putting no numbers on the board. I truly, really believe that a lot of these female rappers is facing karma for the shit that they did. Megan, she could come online and be strikingly beautiful, very beautiful, cute, all of that. Ain't selling no motherfucking records. She's she trying to sell sex, but it ain't selling. You know what I'm saying? Cardi the same. And you know, I think Cardi B, I meant to say this in one of my other videos, I feel like that she's struggling in a way because these labels and these um streaming, the, the distribution... I'm sorry, DSPs, they not playing no more. They are giving fines out for people who are fraudulently streaming records. They, it's, it's a lot going on. There, it's a lot with Apple Music and Spotify. So you don't want to be identified as the fraud that you were. You might have got away with it years ago. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to get away with it now. So listen, this is your boy, Laurent, Female Rapidly. I really, really, really want to know your opinion in regards to this matter when it comes to who is Nikki talking to? Do you think that she's talking to Lotto? You think she's talking to Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B personally? Or do you think that this is is more directed to Lotto being that she recently came out saying that she regret and she, you know, all of this. Lotto just apologized. You know what I'm saying? Just apologize. Come out and do it the same way that your disrespect was loud. And you ain't getting nowhere with that. You got on a record with Jung Cook and all of his Korean fans where I commented under post. They said they don't even stream that song for you. They stream it for Jung Cook. So it's like they don't even know who you are. They still trying to figure out who the fuck you are, like Carol's daughter. <laughs> So listen, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up the video. Make sure that you support Cookie Confidant 83 at that cash app on the screen. This is your boy, LaRon Fimo Rapidly. I am up out of here. Be blessed. Peace.